and welcome to its tomorrow news i am dipasha sharma warnings of further rain amid evacuations and dozens of flood rescues were issued for victoria residents in northeastern victoria are bracing for further flooding in the coming days after heavy rainfall inundated the state and forced two towns to evacuate An evacuation order was issued for parts of the Goulburn Valley town of Seymour in central Victoria shortly before noon on Monday before similar orders were put in place for sections of nearby Ye. An emergency evacuation order was issued for the northern Victorian town of Rochester on Monday evening about 30 homes in Gornong about 30 km northeast of Bendigo and six homes in Redisdale have been evacuated after water inundated the properties. Emergency services said the rain was expected to move to Shepparton and Bongerta midweek. Victoria's Emergency Management Commissioner Rig Nagent said there had been a record amount of rainfall in the past 24 hours to Monday afternoon. There were over 3 months of rain recorded in Health Court in a 24-hour period. He said emergency services rescued 38 people affected by the flooding including some whose homes were inundated. but most people were attempting to drive through flood waters the chief officer of operations at the victorian state emergency service urged people not to drive through flood waters volunteers had responded to more than 1200 calls for help since 7 am on sunday relief center have been set up in bendigo seymour and ye and will will be set up in ichua flash flooding occurred in the state's southwest while more than 180 mm of rain was recorded in the central victoria towns of heathcote and redisdale an emergency cabinet meeting had also been scheduled for monday night to help plan the next phase of the flood response the persistent rain continued to defy predictions of a dry el nino summer with downpours that began late on saturday and ramped up through sunday into monday morning There were 920 calls for assistance to the state emergency service in 24 hours due to flooding, fallen trees and building damage. The rain band mostly hit central Victoria and parts of inland New South Wales, senior BOM meteorologist said. That's all for now. For more updates stay tuned with us on its tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.